أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وأصحابه وبارك وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا شفيع المذنبين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cherisher and sustainer of the universe and choice his blessings and salutations upon his beloved Rasul Nabi Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alhamdulillah, we are very fortunate that today on the special occasion of the Niyaz, the annual Niyaz of Hazrat Imam Sayyid Jafar Sadiq radiallahu ta'ala an. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevate his status in Jannah to Firdaus inshallah. And also on the occasion of the Barsi and the Fatiha of the Honorable Mother of our Haji Mushtaq Bray. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant a maghfirah inshallah and elevate his status in Jannah to Firdaus. We are happy on this occasion to welcome, alhamdulillah, into our midst once again, Hazrat Allama Piri Tariqat Sayyid Muhammad Jilani Baba Ashrafi Maddazul Ali. We also welcome his honorable son, Hazrat Allama Bamaulana Pir Muhammad Husseini Mia Ashrafi Al Jilani Maddazallah Sil Aziz. We invite, we welcome my honorable uncle, Khalifa Sarkari Buranpur, Hazrat Asrarullah Shah Ashrafi Maddazul Ali. We also welcome from Kachosha Sharif, Hazrat Allama Bamaulana Muhammad Tanweer Mia Ashrafi. Alhamdulillah, and Monana, our own Monana Ishtiak Pakistan from Paro Goodwood. May Allah SWT preserve him with good health, inshallah. And our visitor, Janab Asif Ashrafi from Johannesburg. And on behalf of Haji Mushtaq Bray and his wife, Hamida Bray, I warmly welcome all of you to today's program of the Shirni of the Niyaz of Sayyidina Imam Jafar Sadiq. First of all, we make dua that whatever the niyat is of the person who holds the Niyaz, who upholds the niyaz of the shirni, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always make that niyat qubul, inshallah. Amin thumma amin. And for whoever partakes in that niyaz, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the khair, the barakah, and the blessings of the niyaz, inshallah. Amin thumma amin. Uh, it is not for me to speak today. We have great ulama present. We have our favorite and your favorite, Hazrat Allama wa Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Husseini Mia Ashrafi here today. And I call upon the Honorable Maulana Sahib to come forward and shed a few pearls of wisdoms on the occasion of the shirni of Imam Sayyid Jafar Sadiq and inform us a little bit further about the, um, the, the pious awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without any further ado, I hand you over to Hazrat Allama wa Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Husseini Mia Ashrafi. Faliya tafadda mushkura. نحمده ونسلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين صدق الله العظيم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى علی وصحبی اجمعین برحمت کا یا رحم الرحمین آنربل حضرت شیخ طریقت جناب حضرت قاسم بابا صاحب مولانا اشتیاق مولانا سلیم Honorable brothers, elders, sisters, mothers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Just for a few um, moments, we will be um, just discussing with you. It's not a lecture about issues that concern us, the problems, the questions that we have within ourselves, the key to success for ourselves. Today, at the residence of 
جناب مشتاق بریش صاحب وی آر آر سٹنگ ٹوگیدر اینڈ ہیو آرگنائزڈ اے گیدرنگ فار دی عیسال ثواب فار دی ریمبرنس آف امام جعفر صادق دس از انڈیڈ اے گیدرنگ آف نسبت اے گیدرنگ آف کنیکشن اے گیدرنگ آف اسوسیشن وتھ سم ون ہو از کلوز ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ This is why in the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O believers, ittaqullaha. Jo taqwa has a very deep meaning in Islam, but taqwa, to understand it easily, we, we translate it as fear Allah. Isn't it? Adopt taqwa, O believers, fear Allah. O believers, read salah. Fear Allah, do ibadat. Respect and honor your parents. Respect your elders. Perform hajj and umrah. Do recitation of the Holy Quran. Do tilawat. Do tasbih. Do awrad and wazaif. Ittaqullah. Fear Allah. Now, you have iman, you have taqwa. What do you have? You have iman and you have salah. You have iman and you have saum. You have iman and you have hajj. You have iman and you have umrah. You have iman and you have ruku. You have iman and you have sujood. Do you need anything else? Hey, you're a mu'min and a muttaqi. Do you need anything else? You have iman and taqwa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, the journey does not end there. O believers, fear Allah. وَكُونُوا مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ And adopt the company of those who are truthful. Sadiqeen here also means salihin, awliya, adopt the company of those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning taqwa is first. Taqwa is first. After becoming a muttaqi, then adopt the company of those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Why taqwa is first? Because in taqwa, you earn good deeds. In taqwa, good deeds are earned. In taqwa, what happens? Good deeds are earned. In suhba, these good deeds are protected. Because when you perform a good deed, there is an eye that comes with it. I am a namazi. I am a haji. I give this much zakat. I give this much charity. I pray this many times. I pray this many awrad and wazaif. Wakunu ma'asadiqeen. After becoming a mut, go and adopt the company of those who will destroy and diminish your eye. then it will not be your eye when you say you're a namazi you will not say i am a namazi you will say i pray salah because of the blessings of allah because of the favors of allah it is not me it is his power this is why this mahfil is the mahfil of nisbat and nisbat has its own importance We, you know, nisbat. If I if I give if if I ask you for a piece of paper and a pen, and I make two parts of the of the paper, I rip it in in between, and I, in one part of the paper I write something in English. Maybe I'm writing a poem or something. I make a mistake, and I tell you, I tell Yunus, Yunus, can you please? I think I made a mistake. Can you just put it in the bin? You'll do it. But on the other part of the paper, if I write Muhammadur Rasulullah, 
no matter who tells you, you will keep it on the top. You will frame it. You will honor it. You will respect it. The paper came from the same company. It was written by the same pen, by the same writer. But one you just threw without asking in the dustbin. The other you say, no, I have to respect it. Why? Because you will say the other paper has the nisbat of the name of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa Can you see how nisbat grants you honor and dignity and maqam? Right? The best time is the time of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Whose time is the best time? Who were the best people? Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Have you ever imagined they traveled with camels, you traveled with cars and aeroplanes? They did not have as many masajids. You have more masajid today. They did not have jamiat, universities at that time. You have more universities today. They did not have as many Muslims at that time. You have more Muslims today. They did not have as many technologies at that time. You have more technologies today. But the best time is the time of Rasulullah. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Why? Sahih Muslim, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam mentions, Al-Qarnu alladhi yana fihi. Why? It is that time, the Prophet says, in which I am in it. In which I am in it, you can bring your transports, you can bring your jami'at, you can bring your darun ulum, you can bring your masajid, you can bring your books, you can bring your libraries, you can bring your technologies, you can bring your medical inventions, you can bring your population, you can bring everything, but from where will you bring the companionship of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa this is why we say there's no time like the time of Rasulullah. It is the time of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There's no time like his time. It is the time of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There is no mother like Sayyida Amina. She is the mother of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There is no foster mother like Halima Sadia. She is the foster mother of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There is no perfume like the perfume of Ummah Sulaim because she collected the blessed sweat of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There is no city like Makkah. It is the birthplace of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. There is no city like Medina. It is the resting place of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. I say there is no one like Abu Bakr. He is the friend of Rasulullah. There is no one like Umar. He is the dua of Rasulullah. There is no one like Usman. He is the rafiq of Rasulullah. There is no one like Ali. He is the nur of Rasulullah. There is no one like Hassan and Hussein, grandchildren of Rasulullah. There is no pure woman like Sayyida Zahra. She is the daughter of Rasulullah. There is no one like Data Ganjbaksh Ali Hajwari. He is the nur of Rasulullah. There is no one like Ghassi Azam Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. He is the blood of Rasulullah. There is no one like Khaja Maineddin Chishti, he is the gift of Rasulullah. There is no one like Makhdum Ashraf Jangir Samnani, he is the beloved of Rasulullah. And there is no one like me and you, we are the Ummah of Rasulullah. Can you see the maqam of Nisbat? It gives you that status. This gathering is a blessed gathering. Why? It has the nisbat to the awliya Allah, to the ahlul bayt, and to Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Can you see the importance of, it seems like we're sitting in a house, but when we remember Allah, angels come. We are surrounded by angels. You may not be able to see them, but they see you. When we, when we were performing that zikr under the guidance of Maulana Salim, they were here. They were writing your names. And name, your name and the name of your father. Subhanallah. And the location. And they will go and present it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, in the city of Cape Town, in the house of Mushtaq Bare, this, the son of this, and this man, the son of this man, was remembering you. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, have they seen me? No, ya Allah, they did not, all of them, they, they have not seen your beauty. 
what would they do if they see me? They will remember more. They will do more zikr if they saw you. They will praise you even more. And it's a long hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, O oh angels, be my witness. I have given them whatever they have asked for. This gathering is the gathering of nisbat. Remember, when we talk about, you know, you know and we are, we are here, we are not here for a lecture. I'm not here to tell you of issues, you know, which are complicated and we're not here to take you on a very long journey. Just briefly summarizing to you the importance of the path that we are on. The path of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the path of Sharia, the path of Tariqah. This is also Nisbat. Right? We are Ashrafi, that is also Nisbat. Someone is a Qadri, someone is a Chishti, someone is a Naqshbandi, someone is a Suharwardi, someone is a Sabri, someone is a Nizami, someone is a Razwi. All Nisbat, names of Nisbat that ultimately connect you. To Medina. They're all nisbah. And they connect you to Rasulullah. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. But what, what is the definition of all these names? Right? Now, when you take the sohba of your sheikh or when you become a murid you, you join a silsila what is the point? is to take the companionship of the sheikh if it is physical alhamdulillah if not physical then spiritual if, it, if it's not physical then you, sp yeah, you try to gain their, uh, their, their barakah through through the spiritual procedures and methodologies. But in this path that we talk about, whether you're a Qadri or a Chishti, right, these are names of Nisbat. But it is important that though we write these names after our names, isn't it? You know, Sayyid Muhammad, Fala Fala Ashrafi, Chishti. Qadri, very easy to write. It's very easy to write Qadri after your name, Chishti after your name. Quite easy, you just need a pen. <laughs> right? Or a keyboard. Huh? Or a keyboard. Or a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Not even that, you just need a mobile now. <laughs> right? Very easy to write Qadri after your name. Very difficult to be a Qadri. Very difficult to be a Chishti. Chishti... Qadri, Suharwardi, Naqshbandi is not about the color of your scarf. It is not about the size of your turban. It is not about what you wear around your neck. It is not about big and huge rings. It is not about jumping around in mahfil naat and mahfil sima What is this about? Tasfiyatul qulub wa ittiba'un nabi fi shariah It is to purify your heart and follow the sharia of Rasulullah If you purify your heart and you follow the sharia of Rasulullah no matter which color you are in, no matter how big your turban is, no matter whether you're wearing anything around your neck, no matter if you're wearing a big ring or a small ring, no matter which sheikh you belong to, no matter which silsila you belong to, no matter which country you belong to, no matter which state you belong to, you're a Sufi, Qadri, Chishti, Nizami. Right? If that is you. And the first step on this path, and then we will end our discussion, is what is the first step on the path of 
وَكُونُوا مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ What is the first step? Right? Taqwa. And what is the essence of taqwa? Tawbah. Repentance. Right? Isn't it? We repent. Even in salah we do tawbah. Tawbah is part of our ibadat. Isn't it? And so when you do tawbah, the Sufis mentioned the first part, this is why when you become a murid, what does the Shaykh make you read? What does he make you do? Tawbah. Istighfar. Tawbah. Ya Allah, we seek forgiveness from all our sins. When you initiate yourself into a silsila, what, what happens? The first thing is tawbah. Right. The problem is, a human, a mu'min, does everything except tawbah. He doesn't like tawbah. He thinks he's doing tawbah. For you to do tawbah, to repent, it requires a strong heart. It requires humility, sincerity, genuineness. <coughs> right. You have to accept your mistakes first to do tawbah. You have to accept that I can make a mistake. Your nafs will not let you accept that. You, as, the moment you say it's my fault, the nafs will come say it's not yours. It's Maulana's fault. Right? And when you cannot even accept your mistakes, how will you do tawbah? First you have to accept that you are wrong. And you are never wrong because someone else is wrong. Mother is wrong. Father is wrong. Not my fault. Fault of my friends. You know, our nafs is so, is so overpowering upon us that even, as, even within small things we don't accept our mistakes. We don't, we don't like accepting it. It's the problem, the weakness is with me. We don't, we don't accept that. You know, if, if you go and buy some, a jacket for yourself two years before, right? And you try to wear it after two years and it doesn't fit you, what do you say? Jacket is small. Jacket is small. <laughs> I'm sorry, you are big. <laughs> Even then you're blaming the jacket, not yourself. <laughs> right? So once you can accept your mistake, then you overpower your nafs. When your nafs is defeated, your batin is purified. When your batin is purified, then you do tawbah, you receive the nur of the awliya Allah. Once you do tawbah like that, then you walk on the path of wilayat and tasawwuf and suluk. The Sufis mention the day you accept that you are wrong, the day you accept that you are wrong is the day you start becoming right. The day you accept that you are wrong is the day you start becoming right. And this is how to purify your nafs, the first step is tawbah. And this is the importance of this path of suluk and tasawwuf. The Sufi, the Shaykh, will make you do tawbah the moment you sit with him because he does tawbah as well. He does tawbah, seek forgiveness from Allah and also seek forgiveness from those whom you have hurt. So there's this two ways. One is you seeking forgiveness from those who you have cheated, whom you have hurt. And also forgiving every individual who have hurt you. Forgive them. Forgive. So seek forgiveness from others and forgive them. This is the message of Ahlul Bayt. 
you seek forgiveness. Why? Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam mentions, Irhamu turhamu. Right? Waghfiru. Irhamu turhamu. Waghfiru. Yughfar lakum. Right? Show mercy to others, Allah will show mercy to you. Forgive others, Allah will forgive you. Right? So forgive others. And forgive others. And if you have hurt anyone, seek their forgiveness. And then sit on a musalla and do tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, forgive me. Then you see the success in your life. You will see the nur in your life. You will see the maqam. You will see the power of nisbat. You will see the effect of nisbat in your life. And you will see the importance of the teachings of awliya Allah will be the most important guide whenever you travel, whenever you do business. It will come as a guide, guidance for you uh, and, and your life will be pure in this world. It will be successful in your grave and on the day of judgment you will, among, will be amongst the awliya Allah in their companionship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to follow on to the footsteps of those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. MashaAllah, subhanAllah, we say Jazakallah, Asalan Jazat to Hazrat Alama, Wamana Sayyid, Muhammad Husseini Miya Ashrafi for that beautiful talk. Words of wisdom, short talk, Alhamdulillah, but uh, much to ponder in that talk. Um, there wasn't just one or two advice on words of nasihat in that talk, but many advices. And, you know, I sitting, sitting and listening to Manasab's talk, I always say to myself that, you know, when, when the ulama speaks and people enjoy the talk, we say, subhanAllah, we say, mashallah, we always enjoy the talk. And there are, there's so many things to ponder in the talk. And while the talk is on, we ponder. But once the talk is done, like now we're going to eat the niyaz, we're going to go home, and then we forget about a lot of things. And then we forget about what we must ponder. So before we forget, I just want to remind everybody that, inshallah, this talk will be broadcasted later today on the Ashrafi Islamic Pro Propagation channel, inshallah. The link will be forwarded to everybody so that we can constantly remind ourselves. But before that, before we leave this mahfil, I think it's very appropriate, Bamiya, with your permission, that we end up with salatu wa salam now, and then we will have a closing dua to send our salam and express our love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just to take one piece of advice, if we could all just implement that now, today, after we have the Salatu Salam and the closing dua, and take one piece of advice that Mawlana Sahib has mentioned in his talk, that when we greet each other now today, whatever we have said or done to hurt anybody in any way, sometimes you hurt somebody and you're not even aware that you have caused that person any type of grief or that person type of harm. And that person is holding something in their heart against you and you are totally oblivious of it. You are unaware of it completely. So when we have our opportunity to greet now after the program, let us sincerely from the depths of our heart ask each and every one of our brothers and sisters forgiveness for what we may have done intentionally or unintentionally and let us also open our hearts and forgive everybody. Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam speaks about the Sahabi who will go to Jannatul Firdaus and the Sahaba wondered what, what is so special about the Sahabi. And they found out that what was special about him is that when he went to bed every night, he used to clean his heart from any type of grief, malice, or hatred, or animosity that he had to anybody in this dunya. Or anything that he felt, any ill feelings that he had for any person, he cleared and he cleaned his heart from it. And because of this one act, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will enter him into Jannah filled with Firdaus. I mean, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this hidayat and the tawfiq, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the hidayat and tawfiq, not to make amal just on one, but on everything that Mawlana Sahib has so beautifully expressed here. And he also said nicely in his talk that I'm not taking you on a long journey, but inshallah, I would like to advertise for Friday evening, the night of Mi'raj. The night of Mi'raj, inshallah, come prepared to the Grassi Park Masjid for Maghrib Salam, and inshallah, Mawlana Sahib will take us on a long journey, inshallah, on the journey of Mi'raj. And I, for one, am certainly looking forward to a beautiful discourse and a beautiful lecture from Mawlana Sayyid um, Husseini Mia in the presence of Hazrat Sheikh, Sheikh Tariqat, Hazrat Jilani Bawa Ashrafi, and everybody else. Please join us for Maghrib Salah. Uh, on Friday night for the night of Mi'raj to listen to a dynamic speech, inshallah, by our Honorable Mawlana Sahib. If I can kindly res um, request everybody to stand for two ash'ar of the Salatu Salam. Salatullah, Salamullah, ala taha Rasulillah. Salatullah, Salamullah, ala yasin habibillah. 
على ياسين حبي سلام اس پر کے جس نے بے کسو کی دستگیری کی سلام اس پر کے جس نے بے کسو کی دستگیری کی سلام اس پر کے جس نے بادشاہی میں فقیری کی صلات اللہ طه رسول الله صلاة الله سلام الله على ياسين حبيب الله على ياسين سلام اس پر کے جس کے گھر میں چاندی تھی نہ سونا تھا سلام اس پر کے جس کے گھر میں چاندی تھی نہ سونا تھا سلام اس پر کے ٹوٹا بوریا جس کا بچھونا تھا صلات اللہ سلام اللہ علی طاہ رسول اللہ صلات اللہ سلام اللہ علی یاسین حبیب اللہ علی یاسین حبیب اللہ علی یاسین حبیب اللہ الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وصحابك يا شفي المذنبين الفاتحة مولائك كريم اس محفل پاك مجھو کچھ پڑھا گیا سنا گیا مولا اسے قبول و منظور فرما اور جتنے یہاں حاضر ہیں تیرے بندے اور تیری بندیاں مولا ان کی حضری کو قبول فرما اور اس کا عجر و ثواب ان سب کے مرہومین بابا دادا نانے نانی جو بھی ہیں مولا ان کی روحوں کو ان کی قبروں پر پہنچا دے مولا ان سب کے مغفرت فرما اور کل جب ہم وہاں پہنچیں تو مولا ہماری بھی مغفرت فرمانا مالک و مولا مصطفیٰ جان رحمت کے صدقے میں جب تک ہماری زندگی حیات ہے مولا تیری رضا کے لیے ہو تیرے محبوب کی رضا کے لیے ہو مولا تعالی ہمارا جسم و جان دین و ایمان مال و ذر بزنس و کاروبر اولاد و امجاد جو کچھ بھی ہے جو تُو نے ہمیں دنیا میں عطا فرمایا مولا کریم تیری رضا کے لیے تیری خوشنودی کے لیے تیری راہ پر چلنے کے لیے مولا ہمیں اس پر استقامت عطا فرما پروردگار عالم ہم جب تک زندہ رہیں اسلام پر زندہ رہیں مولا ہماری موت ہو تو ایمان پر موت ہو ہم قبر میں کل جائیں تو میرے مولا قبر میں زیارت مصطفیٰ نصیب فرما اور جب ہم حشر میں پہنچیں تو حشر میں شفاعت مصطفیٰ نصیب فرما مولا تعالی جب پلسرات سے گزرے تو رب سلم کہنے والے غمزدہ کا ساتھ ہو اور جب میزانِ عدل پر کھڑے کیے جائیں تو داہنِ ہاتھ میں نامِ عمال ہو اور ان کی نیچی نیچی نظروں کی حیاء کا ساتھ ہو مولا جب حوزِ کوسر پر جامِ کوسر عطا ہو اور مصطفیٰ جانِ رحمت کی معیتِ عزمہ میں دخولِ جنت نصیب فرمانا تو جنت میں سب سے پہلے تیری بارگاہ میں ہم گنہگاروں کے عرض ہے درخواست ہے اپیل ہے کہ مولا سب سے پہلے اپنا دیدار عطا فرمانا مولا سب پر فضل ہو سب پر کرم ہو جو قبروں میں ہیں مولا اس کا عجر و ثواب ان کی قبروں پر پہنچا دے ان سب کے درجات کو بلند فرما ان کی مغفرت فرما جنت الفردوس پر جگہ عطا فرما ان کے تمام پسمادگان کو ان کا نعم البدل عطا فرما انہیں صبر جمیل کی توفیق عطا فرما پروردگار عالم تمام مجالس کو محفل کو یہ تمام احسال ثواب کے تقاریب کو مولا قبول و منظور فرما اور اسے ہماری دنیا اور آخرت میں حسنات کے لیے مولا اسے تبدیل فرما 
مولا تو فضل فرمانے والا ہے فضل فرما کرم فرمانے والا ہے کرم فرما ان اللہ و ملائکت و سلون علی النبی یوہ اللذین آمنوا سلو علیہ وسلم تسلیمہ اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا مولانا محمد والا علی سیدنا مولانا محمد و بارک و سلم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما سفون و سلام علی المسلین والحمدللہ رب العالمین بحق لا الہ الا اللہ محمد صلی اللہ